Have you ever wondered which Assassin's Creed game is the highest rate by critics? Well, today we're going to rank all 19 of them based on their Metacritic score. Number 19. Altair's Chronicles Altair's Chronicles on Nintendo DS didn't receive much attention from gamers. It was kinda hard to control and focus more on sneaking around than fighting. People thought it was too short and not very interesting. Even though it was cool that they fit a big world into a small game cartridge, it seems like they rushed it and didn't do a great job. The main character Altair wasn't very exciting either. Number 18. Chronicles Russia Assassin's Creed Chronicles wasn't very popular. It was different because it was a side-scrolling game instead of usual 3D world. The best thing about the Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia version was that it took place during the World War I. The main character was also interesting. However, despite receiving an OK score on Metacritics, people found the game too similar to the first Chronicle game, and not very unique or special. Number 17. Bloodlines Assassin's Creed Bloodlines brought back Altair for a new adventure on portable PlayStation console. The game scored 63 points on Metacritics. Despite featuring a large map, the game didn't play smoothly on the portable console. This was because the console limitations made it difficult for the game to perform good. But one unique aspect of the Bloodline was that its ability to connect with Assassin's Creed 2 on PS3, allowing players to unlock special content in both games. Number 16. Chronicles India Continuing from the first Chronicles, Assassin's Creed India is the next game in the series after the first one, which was set in China. On this one, you get to explore the beautiful sights and sounds of India. Many people thought it looked really good, but it didn't do anything new or different from the first one, or the one set in Russia. I think the people who like the first Chronicle game will probably still enjoy playing India. It didn't get a great score on Metacritics, only 64 points. It might not be the game that everyone will like, but fans who want something more difficult might find what they're looking for. I am an assassin. Number 15. Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery Ezio finally got a chance to shine the handheld title with Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery. As such, the game received praise for continuing the legacy of one of the most beloved main characters of the whole franchise. However, it didn't do much to stand out, only got 69 on Metacritics. It's also really short and feels like a less exciting version of Prince of Persia. Still, the story is pretty good and takes place after the events of some DLC from Assassin's Creed 2. So if you're a fan of Ezio or the Assassin's Creed series in general, you may want to check out the Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery. Number 14. Chronicles China Assassin's Creed Chronicles China received a good score on Metacritics, 69, and is the best one in Chronicles series. The main character Xiao Jun is one of the earliest female assassins in the whole franchise. Unlike the main games, Chronicles China is more straightforward, side-scrolling, action-style game. If you are a fan of the Assassin's Creed series, you should definitely give this one a chance. Number 13. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Liberation was created for portable console PlayStation Vita. Even though the name might make you think it's just an add-on for Assassin's Creed 3, it's actually its own game. This one still has an open-world gameplay that the Assassin's Creed series is known for. It also introduces one of the first female assassins and takes place in unique location. People liked it so much that it even got a remade in HD for consoles. Number 12. Assassin's Creed Unity In 2014 the Assassin's Creed series had a tough times. Two of their games got really bad ratings, especially Assassin's Creed Unity. The game got a cool story, but a lot of problems. It had a ton of technical issues like glitches and bad graphics, which made fans upset. They released update for the game later on, which helped a little. Even though a lot of people didn't like the game, it still sold over 10 million copies, which is pretty impressive. The game got a score of 70 on Metacritics. Number 11. Assassin's Creed Rogue Another game that came out 2014 was Assassin's Creed Rogue. 
It tells the story of character named Shay Patrick Cormack, who was once part of the assassin group but became a member of their enemies, the Templars. The game takes place during the Seven Years' War, and Shay is on a mission to find and kill people in the Brotherhood who betrayed him. Some people like that you get to play as a Templar instead of assassin, and they thought the main character was interesting. However, the game didn't do anything new or exciting. The story was also predictable, and it worth nothing that the final mission in Rogue actually serves the start of the story in the Unity. Rogue had an average score of 72 on Metacritics. Number 10. Assassin's Creed Syndicate In 2015, things got a bit better for Assassin's Creed franchise, but it still wasn't great for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The game got a score of 76 on Metacritics, which is not bad, but not great either. The story is about twin assassin named Jacob and Evie Fry, who are trying to take control of their city back from the Templars. The game is set in Victorian era London. The plot, the graphics and the missions are really good. A lot of people thought it was a step in the right direction for the series. Number 9. Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed was the first game in the series. It's where it all started. It's set during the Third Crusade in the Holy Land and introduces Desmond Miles, who is a big part of the story in the first few games. It also introduces the main conflict between Assassins and Templars. People really liked the game because it had a new and interesting concept, a great story and cool graphics. On Metacritic it's got a score of 80, which is pretty good. Number 8. Assassin's Creed Revelations Assassin's Creed Revelations is the fourth game in the series, and it's still about Desmond Miles. He is trying to stop the world from ending in 2012. Revelations wasn't as good as the second and third titles, Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. It didn't add a lot of new stuff, but it's still a pretty good one. And it's the only one where all versions PC, Xbox 360 and PS3 got the same score on Metacritic. 80. Number 7. Assassin's Creed 3 Assassin's Creed 3 is the fifth game in the series and continues the story of Desmond Miles. It's set during the American Revolution, which means there's a lot of fighting between British and Americans. When the game was first advertised, some people thought it was anti-British and too patriotic towards America. But when the game came out, most reviewers said that both sides are showing fairly. The beginning of the game is really good, but then the story slows down. But still, there are really good parts, like naval combat and using Tomahawk to fight. Number 6. Assassin's Creed Valhalla The latest game in AC series is Valhalla. It takes place during the Viking invasion of Britain in the year 8072. You control a Viking named Eivor, who gets involved in conflict between Assassins and Templars. People were really excited about Valhalla before it came out, and it's got good reviews for its story and the design of its world. Some of the side missions can be a bit repetitive, but the game is less focused on grinding for equipment than the previous game in the series, Odyssey. The game got an average score of 83 on Metacritic. Number 5. Assassin's Creed Black Flag Black Flag is a really cool video game. It takes place in the Caribbean during the time when pirates ruled the sea. You get to do a lot of stuff on ships, like fighting and exploring. You play as a pirate named Edward Kenway, who gets caught up in a big fight between Assassins and Templars. It's different from other games, because you get to explore the big world and go on a lot of different missions. Even though it can be a little bit hard to figure out what to do sometimes, it's still really fun. The game got really good reviews, and the version for PS3 was the best one. Number 4. Assassin's Creed Origins Assassin's Creed Origins is a really cool game that takes place in the ancient Egypt around the year 49 BCE. The game is all about the Hidden Ones and their fight against the Order of Ancients, who were like early version of bad guys in the series, the Templars. The game is a little bit different, it has a lot more role playing stuff in it, which means you get to make choices that affect your story but it still has the open world and sneaky stuff. The game is really big, which means it can get a little bit slower, but people loved it for another reason. The main character, Bayek, is really interesting, 
and had a great story. And when you fight the bad guys in the game, it's really fun and felt different from other games. Overall, it's got a score of 83 on Metacritics. Number 3. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Assassin's Creed Odyssey came out in 2018 and it's different from other games in the series because it's a full RPG. You play as a mercenary who's looking for their family and fight for both sides. The game got a lot of good reviews for things like characters, especially Cassandra, the open world, the story and the gameplay. On Metacritic it's got a score of 85, which is really good, but sometimes the game tries to do too much. And there's too much to do. Number 2. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Brotherhood is another really awesome game in the series. It's the second game in a trilogy that follows Ezio. In this game Ezio is still trying to help his friends and stop his enemies. The game takes place in Italy during the 16th century, mostly in Rome. The version of PlayStation 3 got a really high score of 90 on Metacritic. Even though the story in Brotherhood isn't always amazing, as it was in the Assassin's Creed 2, the game is still really great. The settings is really cool. And the gameplay is even better than before. Plus there's a lot of fun things to do on the side, which makes the game even more fun to play. Overall, it's a really great game that people love to play. Number 1. Assassin's Creed 2 Assassin's Creed 2 is a really important game because it made people start paying attention to the series. The game takes place during the Italian Renaissance and you play as Nezio who wants to get revenge on the people who hurt his family. Along the way he discovers all sorts of secrets from an ancient civilization called the Isu. When the game came out people loved it. The world in the game is really big and lets you explore all sorts of places like Florence, Venice, Monterigiani and Flori. Even now the people still think the game is great, because even though the fighting isn't fancy as it is in newer games, the story is really good. Metacritic score 91. So there you have it, a list of Assassin's Creed games ranked by Metacritic. Do I agree with this list? Probably no. But what about you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks and see you on the next one.